Hunting for a predator is never easy, but wild dogs have a knack for it. They are probably the most successful hunters in the bush because they are methodical, strategic, and merciless. Have you ever seen wild dogs attack a hyena? What about a full-grown Cape Buffalo? If you have never seen wild dogs hunt, you can't miss this as we look at wild dogs being savagely violent when it comes to their hunts for food. Number 15. Wild dogs kill kudu. This kudu is slaughtered on the side of a road in front of many onlookers. People are standing and having a good time. They're reminiscent of Roman spectators at the Colosseum watching gladiators fight tigers and lions. Wild dogs pursue and capture a female kudu. It's worth noting that there is some violence in this video, but the kudu is shocked, so it shouldn't be too upsetting. But I'd rather be where I am right now than where the kudu is, if you know what I mean. This method of killing, in which wild dogs exhaust their prey by running at a constant speed of 55 to 60 kilometers per hour for 3 to 5 kilometers, is extremely effective because the animal is exhausted and has very little energy left to fight off or flee once they get close to it. This allows the wild dogs plenty of time to bite into and injure their prey before tearing it apart and devouring it. Wild dogs adore the kudu, a large antelope that resembles a reindeer. Even though this kudu is gigantic and tries to escape, the dogs persevere and manage to drag it down and begin disemboweling it while it is still alive. The dogs attack the kudu fiercely, and the kudu has no way of protecting itself. Number 14. Wild dogs attack Sambar deer. While a few of his friends watch from the riverbank, this lone dole attacks a Sambar deer in the water because the Sambar deer can drag the dole with him in deeper water so the doles are not safe. Because the deer is much larger than the dole, I doubt this single doll will be able to bring the deer back to shore without the help of his friends. A sambar deer at a watering hole is surrounded by a pack of dolls. The sambar deer immediately calls for aid. It will occasionally produce a loud call when it recognizes it is in serious difficulty. In this chaotic world, things happen all the time. After more than an hour of struggling, the drama begins when the dolls take turns hitting the deer until it tires out and is unable to defend itself. A wildlife enthusiast observed a group of dolls pursuing a sambar fawn. The dolls trapped the fawn in the water. The mother sambar fawn was stamping her foot very hard in the water to save her baby, but the dolls eventually killed the sambar deer baby. Number 13. Wild dogs attack hyena. This hyena is in a lot of trouble, and it's not funny. The hyena is surrounded by a large pack of wild dogs, which it is attempting to defend against, but attacks are coming from all directions. Simply put, there are too many dogs attacking the hyena. I'm truly astounded by the hyena's ability to remain calm and stand its ground in the face of so much adversity for such an extended period. These dogs threaten a hyena that tries to steal their food. I guess the hyena's bad reputation follows it everywhere. The hyena is not injured, and once it meets up with a friend, the two hyenas are probably planning their next heist. Number 12. Wild dogs hunting antelope. The wild dogs loped along, calmly checking out the herds of Leshwe and failing at two efforts to corner one of the antelopes, attracting the attention of wildlife enthusiasts for almost 45 minutes. Both they and the observers benefited from their patience and tenacity. This small antelope is attempting to flee the clutches of a lone wild dog, but it is becoming increasingly difficult to do so. When a second dog appears, you know it's the antelope's last moments on this planet. It is now time to say a few prayers and hope for the best. Number 11. Wild Dogs Hunting Warthog When these wild dogs come across another warthog, they're on their third warthog hunt of the day. They start by wearing down the warthog until it is exhausted, at which point they start tearing flesh from its body. For some reason, they stop attacking the warthog, and the warthog decides to flee. But it goes looking for the dogs in tall grass, which I don't understand. This was a strange hunt if you ask me. When the dogs abandoned the kill, the prey wanted to approach the predators. This warthog is obviously a masochist, or he's confused. Wild dogs are driven by hunger to attack and eat anything that crosses their path which often includes warthogs. It's awful for the animals who are being attacked, but such is life. 
Wild Dog's strength is that they always attack in packs, allowing them to employ a variety of techniques when pursuing a prey, allowing them to be the most successful hunters in the wild. Even when this warthog digs a trench to fend off the attacks, it may not be enough to save his life from these ruthless predators. Wild Dogs are ruthless. These wild dogs are dismembering this poor warthog alive, biting and eating it from every angle. The warthog is in pain as they tear him to shreds, but they need to eat, and the warthog is just what the doctor ordered. Number 10. Wild dogs eat impala alive. This small impala has no way of defending itself, even against one lone wild dog, and the dog knows it. So he takes advantage of the situation and begins to eat the poor animal while it is still alive. This impala runs for her life while she is being chased by some wild dogs, but when the impala jumps through the high grass, it trips, which causes her to demise, giving the dogs a great opportunity to jump on it, and the dogs never look back, slaughtering the impala in minutes. While the impala is still alive, these wild dogs simply rip its insides out. They don't waste any time. They just eat their way through it like termites would eat through wood. On the side of a water hole, these African wild dogs catch an impala. The impala was chased over the broad plains and into the water hole by the dogs. As the impala tries to swim away, the two dogs snatch it and pull it back to shore and on land where they waste no time disemboweling it. Number 9. Wild Dogs Attack Buffalo A larger buffalo is battling a pack of wild dogs. His bellowing is heard by everyone, including his herd which is a few hundred meters away and does nothing to help him. I must say buffalo herds are weird. Sometimes they help their friends and sometimes they just stand there doing nothing. They should have intervened, especially against wild dogs, because of the huge size advantage they have. The dogs are both biting the buffalo's backside as the others gather to assist. When the rest of the pack arrives, the buffalo is quickly devoured. Buffalo are strong animals that have been known to fight lions. They're enormous, and a good slash with one of their horns could be fatal. Wild dogs have little chance of bringing down a full-grown buffalo unless they're after a younger calf. In this video, they do exactly that. They've surrounded the calf and are slaughtering it in front of its mother. Because there are simply too many dogs, the mother appears to have given up defending her offspring. After one final attempt, the mother is chased away from the area and the dogs can eat in peace. If the mother knows what's best for her right now, she should flee because the calf cannot be saved. A larger buffalo is battling a band of wild dogs in this video. Several dogs are biting the buffalo's rear end while the others look for ways to help and ensure the buffalo does not flee. We all know how this will end, and the buffalo isn't looking good. The buffalo apparently falls to the ground, allowing the dogs to reap the benefits of their hunt. Number 8. Wild Dogs Hunt Oryx This oryx is being attacked by a couple of wild dogs, and it is attempting to hide in the bush, but the dogs are so cruel and aggressive that they drag the oryx out of the bush and into the open field, where they will continue their carnage. The oryx is a massive antelope with long, sharp horns, but when you're up against a horde of lunatics biting from all sides, you need to be better armed or have lightning speed. After this encounter, this oryx has no chance of ever seeing the light of day again. Another oryx runs towards the kill, and it's as if the dogs were waiting for him to arrive. Number 7. Dogs Attack Lizard Six stray dogs attack a large monitor lizard. The lizard is surrounded and fights back, but it's not easy when you have six mouths trying to bite you. One of the dogs flanks the lizard and bites the side of his body, while another dog holds the lizard's tail. The other four dogs are mostly barking. The lizard goes deeper into the water, which probably helps him, but the dogs drag him back out. A man scares the dogs away and gives the lizard a break. I'm guessing dogs and lizards aren't the best friends in this video. We can see why as these dogs encircle and attack the lizard without mercy. The larger of the dogs takes a few nasty bites, but the lizard is tough and launches his own attacks. This is a spectacular fight as the dogs attack the reptile and he jumps all over the place, landing a few blows on the smaller dog. This pit bull pulls a monitor lizard out of a mud pit and the dog has a firm grip on the reptile. The clip was cut short, so we don't get to see how it ends, but I'm betting the dog kills the lizard. Number 6. Wild Dogs Attack Sesabe the Sasabe, also known as the common Sesabe, is a relative of the Bontabok. It has a comical appearance with high sloped shoulders that drop to a small, not overly robust rump. And guess what? 
The common sesame is a favorite of wild dogs who enjoy a good stand-up routine from time to time, especially when they get the last laugh as they do in this video when they devour one. The dogs tugged in different directions, gulping down every piece of meat they could get their hands on, and the show didn't last long in this video. The pain must have been excruciating for the animal, but I'm sure the dogs didn't mind as long as they were eating. The dogs can be seen digging inside the animal's belly. Another sesame is attacked and is taught about wild dogs. It couldn't do anything, no matter how hard it tried. Consider being born in a world where you're dumped in the middle of nowhere and practically everyone sees you as food or competition. Number 5. Wild Dogs Attack Gazelle These wild dogs get up in the morning after being relocated to this animal reserve and head for the closest breakfast establishment in town, which happens to be right round the corner. The dogs place an order for a gazelle, which includes eggs, potatoes, orange juice, and a fetus. What a fantastic way to begin the day. Believe it or not, this poor gazelle is pregnant, so the wild dogs get two for one in this kill. Number four, wild dogs catch rabbit. Because rabbits are so small, they aren't the best prey for wild dogs, and feeding a pack of dogs takes a lot more than a small rabbit. For the time being, however, the dogs will take whatever they can. Because rabbits are so little, they're not the best food for wild dogs. However, for the time being, the dogs will accept anything they can obtain. These German shepherds behave like wild dogs when they capture a small rabbit. They each pull their way to get most of the rabbit for themselves. Number 3. Wild Dogs Attack Puku These guests spotted a herd of puku running while on safari in South Luangwa National Park, and their guide reported they were being chased by a band of wild dogs. They snatched one from afar and killed it, then killed another directly in front of their truck. These wild dogs are feasting on a puku in the middle of a waterhole. The dogs don't care where they eat if they can fill their hungry tummies. The puku had no chance to save itself when you look at the number of dogs in the pack. African wild dogs are recognized as the continent's most successful predators. Working together as a pack, they can run down and quickly tear apart their prey. Medium-sized antelopes stand little chance of escaping these voracious hunters. Number 2. Wild Dogs Hunting Wildebeest Wild dogs are resilient and strategic hunters. This overhead view shows the wild dogs chasing a wildebeest systematically. The wildebeest runs for its life, but it will eventually tire out, and that's what wild dogs do best. They tire out their prey before dismantling it like a set of Lego blocks. On the African savannah, teamwork and endurance are key for success, and wild dogs possess both these attributes tenfold. These wild dogs have managed to grab a small wildebeest, but all the action is happening behind the bushes. We can hear the wildebeest crying for help, but it's difficult to see anything until the camera moves, and then we see a horde of dogs all over the poor victim, whose life is obviously on the verge of ending. All we can hope is the animal didn't suffer, but by the looks of it, there is a slight possibility it did. This wildebeest finds itself in a precarious position. Some of the dogs are yanking on its snout, while others are biting at its backside. I'm not sure how long this tugging from one side to the other will last, but the wildebeest is clearly in tremendous pain, and it's not finding this the least bit interesting. Number 1. Wild Dogs Kill Waterbuck A band of wild dogs attempted to capture a female waterbuck, but she was able to hide behind a shrub and keep them at bay until they lost interest and moved on to easier prey. In both instances, the waterbuck ran down to Jones's dam, most likely in quest of water to drink. The second victim tried the same thing, but she was not so lucky, as she and her unborn calf were both snatched down and consumed in seconds. These wildlife enthusiasts came across a mother and calf waterbuck after witnessing a pack of wild dogs go missing while hunting a large herd of impalas. After being chased into the water by the dogs, the small waterbuck managed to escape from a large pod of hippos. After a few hours, the wild dogs gave up, and the mother and calf waterbuck escaped unharmed. This waterbuck is attempting to avoid the wild dog's wrath by staying in the water, but it eventually swims to shore to rest. The pack manages to drag the animal along the water's edge and begin tearing it apart. Most of these were difficult to watch, because no one likes to see animals being eaten alive. However, I was amazed at the resilience displayed by the lone hyena that was attacked by a pack of wild dogs and was able to fend them off no matter how many times they charged it. Which one was your favourite? 
why don't you let us know in the comments below. Well, that's it for our look at wild dogs being savagely violent when it comes to their hunts for food. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.